Canada, home to breathtaking landscapes and natural wonders. But beneath this beauty, there's a new story unfolding. On May 1st, 2024, Canada officially unveiled the Trans Mountain Pipeline, a project that's been the center of intense debate for years. So why was this pipeline so important? And what does it mean for Canada and the world? For some, the pipeline represents economic strength and thousands of new jobs. For others, it stirs deep concerns about our planet and the cultural heritage of Canada's indigenous communities. In this video, we'll dive into the numbers and realities behind this project. How will it impact Canada's economy, the environment, and the people? Get ready to explore the challenges, the triumphs, and the bigger picture behind this bold Canadian energy venture. The Trans Mountain Pipeline System, this isn't just a pipeline. It's a story of vision, resilience, and progress. Starting from Edmonton, Alberta, it snakes across some of the most challenging terrain in North America, covering an impressive 1,150 kilometers all the way to British Columbia's coast. Imagine the engineering, the sheer effort that went into creating this marvel of Canadian infrastructure back in the early 1950s. In the 1950s, Canada, industry was booming, and so was the demand for energy. But oil from Alberta needed a way to reach the Western markets, and a simple solution wouldn't cut it. That's when the idea of a pipeline came into focus, a direct line that would carry Alberta's vast resources to the West Coast, feeding not only Canada's energy needs, but also reaching international shores. This would be the first and only pipeline to directly connect Alberta with British Columbia. So with a $93 million investment, Trans Mountain Pipeline Company took shape. By March 21st, 1951, Parliament granted it a special charter, and a year later, construction began. Workers overcame harsh conditions, mountains and rivers, facing every obstacle to bring this line to life. And in October 1952, after months of grueling work, the final weld was completed. Just 10 months later, in August 1953, oil was flowing to Vancouver. But the Trans Mountain story didn't end there. By the 1980s, the pipeline evolved to meet modern needs, adding the capability to transport multiple petroleum products. This made the system more versatile and future-ready, able to respond to Canada's ever-growing energy demand. In 2004, a second pipeline was introduced between Hinton and Hargreaves, increasing capacity by 40,000 barrels per day. This enhancement allowed the system to move even more fuel across Canada, bringing critical resources where they were needed most. These upgrades did more than just increase capacity, they shifted the entire industry. Many oil companies decided to concentrate their refining activities in Edmonton, turning British Columbia's refineries along the pipeline route into key storage and distribution hubs. It was a bold move that reshaped the oil landscape in Canada. With energy demands only growing, 2013 brought forth the proposal for the largest pipeline upgrade yet, the Trans Mountain Expansion Project, or TMX. This wasn't just another upgrade, it was an ambitious plan to triple the pipeline's capacity to 890,000 barrels per day, helping Canada meet domestic and international demand like never before. But this kind of upgrade doesn't come cheap. The price tag? An astounding 25 billion US dollars. From 2013 to 2024, this monumental project took years of approvals, engineering advancements, and countless hours of labor. Construction crews work day and night across rugged landscapes, harsh climates, and dense forests, facing challenges that range from environmental concerns to regulatory hurdles. And finally, on May 1, 2024, TMX became operational. The expanded pipeline was ready, delivering up to 890,000 barrels of oil per day and marking a new era for Canada's energy sector. Today, the expanded pipeline connects Canada's resources to both North American and global markets more efficiently than ever before. It's a major milestone, not just for Trans Mountain, but for Canadian energy on the whole. Experts say this expansion has made Canada's energy industry more competitive globally. Not only does it support Canada's economy, but it also bolsters energy security by diversifying export options. With the new capacity, Canada can ship more oil directly to Asia, reducing reliance on U.S. buyers and opening doors to emerging markets. But it's not without challenges. Some refiners have raised concerns over the quality of oil coming through. The pipeline's complexity means it can transport various grades of oil and refined products, which could impact the refining process and costs. The TMX system is a marvel of engineering, 
It can transport multiple types of oil in batches, keeping them separate as they flow. But as it gets more sophisticated, maintaining the quality of each batch becomes even more critical. So while TMX is a triumph of engineering and energy strategy, it's also a story of innovation, adaptation, and overcoming challenges. Much like Canada itself, this expanded pipeline isn't just a project, it's a testament to how Canada is pushing forward evolving and adapting to meet the world's energy needs. Over the decades, the Trans Mountain Pipeline has seen 84 spills, most of them small and contained within pumping stations. But there have been incidents that left a mark. In 2005, a rupture in Abbotsford released a significant amount of oil. And in 2007, a contractor accidentally hit the pipeline in Burnaby, causing a larger spill that reached homes and forced evacuations. That cleanup took over a year and environmental impacts were closely monitored. Later incidents in Burnaby and Sumas were better contained, but each highlighted the high environmental stakes. The Trans Mountain Pipeline system is resilient, but not immune to risks, and that's where the debates begin. Imagine communities across Canada grappling with sharply different perspectives. Environmentalists and indigenous communities express serious concerns. Many indigenous groups raise powerful objections about the pipeline cutting through unceded lands, leading to legal battles and national protests. TMX became more than a project. It became a symbol of competing visions for Canada's future. In July 2020, after years of intense legal challenges, the Supreme Court gave its ruling. The expansion would proceed. But this decision didn't quiet the storm. It fueled ongoing conversations about Canada's priorities. Then in 2018, Kinder Morgan, the original owner, decided to back out. In a surprising move, the Canadian government stepped in to keep the project alive. On August 31, 2018, Canada purchased the pipeline for $4.7 billion, creating the Trans Mountain Corporation. This crown corporation now navigates the complex balance between economic growth, environmental protection, and cultural respect. During the expansion's construction phase, TMX created thousands of jobs. Heavy equipment operators, tradespeople, engineers, and administrative staff were all part of the massive effort. For many, this was more than just a job. It was a stepping stone, especially as indigenous communities received specialized employment, training, and contracting opportunities. The economic potential is striking. Over the next two decades, TMX could generate an estimated $73 billion in increased revenue for oil producers and around $46 billion for government funds. Alberta and British Columbia stand to benefit from nearly $25 billion in GDP growth, with this potential boost set to reshape local economies. Market access is a game changer here. Now Canadian oil producers can reach global markets, especially in Asia, which could bring better prices and less congestion in domestic pipelines. This isn't just more oil flowing, it's strategic positioning that could strengthen Canada's foothold in the global energy market. Where does the environment fit in? A portion of TMX revenue is allocated to Canada's clean energy transition, supporting initiatives that fuel a low-carbon future. TMX becomes more than an economic lifeline. It's part of a broader conversation about balancing growth with sustainability. And here's what the expansion has already achieved. TMX's capacity has tripled, going from 300,000 barrels per day to an impressive 890,000 barrels per day. This surge has eased transportation bottlenecks, allowing Canada's oil industry to reach record production levels in 2024. With this new capacity, Canadian oil can now access Asian markets, leading to potentially better pricing for producers. This isn't just about meeting today's demands, it's about building a foundation for the future. The TMX project carries the weight of complex, sometimes conflicting priorities. Economic growth, environmental stewardship, and cultural respect. As Canada moves forward, TMX isn't just a pipeline. It's a bridge between past and future, fueling debates, sparking progress, and challenging Canada to navigate its own energy transition. Now it's important to address the challenges that lie ahead. The Trans Mountain Pipeline expansion hasn't been without its hurdles. The project's costs have surged dramatically, from an initial estimate of $7.4 billion to over $34 billion. This raises pressing questions. Who will bear these additional expenses? And is the project financially viable in the long run? Environmental concerns are also at the forefront. Various groups and some provincial governments express worries about potential oil spills and rising greenhouse gas emissions. The risk to ecosystems, marine life, and coastal communities can't be overlooked. 
Adding to the complexity, the project has faced opposition from indigenous communities concerned about the impact on their lands and resources. While efforts are ongoing to reconcile these issues and create economic opportunities for indigenous groups, it's clear this remains a contentious topic that touches on rights, heritage, and respect. As we look ahead, enhancing operational efficiency will be crucial for TMX. Continuous monitoring and proactive measures are essential to ensure its long-term success and to address any new challenges that arise. Ultimately, the Trans Mountain Pipeline expansion is seen by many as a game-changer for Canada's energy sector. But it requires a careful balance between economic benefits and our responsibilities to the environment and communities. So what are your thoughts on this? Can we find that balance? The Trans Mountain Pipeline is often referred to as a Faustian bargain, a choice that locks us into future carbon pollution while banking on the ever-expanding oil sands. Investing in the expansion of oil sands means betting on a future filled with climate chaos. It's hard to stomach that younger generations might end up footing the bill for a crisis that will disproportionately impact them. If we succeed in tackling the climate crisis, Canada's oil and gas sector could quickly lose its economic viability with around $100 billion in stranded assets at stake. The assets most vulnerable are often the priciest to produce and the most damaging to the environment, like the oil carried by the Trans Mountain Pipeline. Right now, the Canadian government is trying to navigate the tricky waters of offloading the project. Despite pledges for ownership partnerships with industry and indigenous communities, private companies are showing less interest. Potential indigenous owners might face significant risks and costs as fossil fuel infrastructure loses its value. What are your thoughts on the challenges they might face? Abandoning the TMX project could spell trouble for political parties, especially with an election looming. The future of the Trans Mountain Pipeline expansion shines with both promise and challenge. It embodies the complex choices we face as a nation, balancing economic growth with environmental stewardship and social responsibility. As we stand at this crossroads, perhaps the path forward isn't just about choosing one over the other, but finding a way to weave our economic aspirations with the urgent need to protect our planet and honor all communities involved. The conversation is far from over, and it's one that includes each and every one of us.